because you know the semester's over, the kids are here by themselves, they all get to go home for a couple days, and the concentration levels aren't high. And you're, the history of this is you usually see sloppy games on days like this. And boy, you saw a real sloppy one. I mean, that was that was really a, an unbelievably bad display of shooting the basketball, especially from the free throw line by both teams. You know, and we won the game. We you know we had a hand. At one point, I looked at a stat sheet. We were shooting 29% from the floor, and we had a 14-point lead. I, I've never seen that before in my life. You know, and uh, why? I guess we defended well. I will say this: if you look at the stat sheet, we only gave up nine offensive rebounds to a good rebounding team, and they missed a lot of shots. It's not like they shot 56% and only got nine. They, they shot 40% and only got nine offensive rebounds. And that, and then our ability to steal the basketball, which is one of our fortes, and, and get some easy baskets off our steals probably was the difference in the game. Bader got a couple wide open looks and made them all steals. Um, Momentum-wise, we had it. Uh, you know, I mean, we, we had a lead, a handy lead throughout the whole game. And every time they did it, even sniff like they were getting back in it, we were able to open it back up until the end. And, you know, we've had a history this year of, of kind of stepping on ourselves at the end of games. And we did again, and we got lucky they missed a free throw. And, uh, after we'd missed about 50, I think. And we were able to hang on, so it's a great win for us. Is it even that much sweeter for you after that hard-fought loss the other night at West Virginia? Oh, sure, sure. And, and you know, we missed the front end of a one-on-one -on -one with 20 seconds to go to tie that game and had the lead most of the game. I mean, it's just been typical of our season, and we're good shooters. I mean, that, that's the, it's you know, I, I liken it. I'm a big golfer, and I'm a really good putter, and I'll go through summers where I can't make anything. You know, because it gets in your mind, you know, and you get the yips or whatever they're called, and you just can't take it back straight. And and you, and I'll tell you what, I, I think I'm a really good putter. But there are times I can't make anything. And we're just in one of those funks right now. We just can't make anything. Um, it, am I worried about it? I'm not, but, you know, I keep telling Paul I'm not worried about it. But, if you know, if it keeps showing its face, uh, at some point we've got we've to corral that and get that going up. We've also paid, played a million games on the road. And so that probably has a little point in it, too. I mean, now we start league play. Everybody uses the same ball. Every, you know, you're used to playing in these gyms, and hopefully you'll see us shoot the ball. It is, I, I do want to say this, though. We did win. We beat a top 100 RPI team, and we were 6-0 and in this building, and beat a Big Ten team in this building. So you, you can be disappointed, maybe, in how you won, but we won, and that's the object of the game, and you win different ways. And so we're, we're excited about the win. I'm just used to Christmas games, and I hate them, you know. I was told once it's uh, better to win ugly than lose to lose beautiful. I, I would agree with whoever said that. I would agree with them. But it, people say nice win, and my answer is always any win is nice. Because a month from now, nobody's going to remember how this game is played. They're just going to know you won or lost. Can you talk about the importance of getting out to a lead like that? You guys only scored first a couple times this year, but with the shooting woes, do you think that helped spur on the defense at all? Well, we came out, Bass made a three, and David made a three, and I thought, okay, we're ready to run. You know, we played really well this week. We played really well against Val Bowen one, who was picked to win the Horizon League, and we played really well at West Virginia, and we lost. But as I told them before, they end, it's been a good week, let's finish it. You know, we're, we can see this team's getting better. And uh, we came out and went bang, bang, we got a lead, and I think what happened is it got to be like 22 to 8 or something, and we had like four straight possessions where the ball went and came out. You know, I mean, Bass from about five feet, Petro's in there, Valentine, and the balls went like this and came out, and then it never got any better after that, you know. So, it is what it is. Are you upset a little bit with the shooting performance given that you've been picking, you know, come, coming into a zone defense? That's the, the good opportunity oh, no. for you guys to Nobody ever rip the nest. And, you know, I thought we, we didn't run our zone offense very well. We kind of stood around. And uh, when I went with the two bigs, I think things changed. Raphael did some really nice things in there for us. And uh, I thought that was, you know, if there was a, a turning point in the game for Oakland, I think when we were really struggling to score and we went with the two bigs the last 10 minutes, I think that really helped us. Raphael had, you know, a dunk and a drive from the free throw mm -hmm. line. He missed three free throws, though, too. So. How do you think uh, Duke picking up that fourth foul with, I think, under 10 minutes to go, how do you think that affected the defense? Because he was a big catalyst. Uh, I, I do think, I mean, it's six steals or something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I do think it hurt us, but it's basketball. I mean, uh, they had Deshante Riley picked up his fourth foul, you know, so 
it, it's it's the game. It's you expect those things to happen. You play through them. I mean, the next guy up makes plays. And, you know, I don't sit there and think, oh man, we got you know, we just got to go play the next guy. Ryan Bass finally lived up to that Vinnie Johnson uh, comparison that you like to make toward him. Uh, do you think this could be the start of something, you know, I, I really consistency so. for Ryan? I really hope so because you know he, he he made those free throws. He hit the shot. He wasn't afraid to take it. Um, yeah, I hope so. I mean, we need him. We need production out of him. We're going to get production out of Bader. We're going to get production out of Petros. We're going to get production out of Valentine. We're going to get production out of uh, Duke. We need production out of that spot too. Um, you started off shooting pretty well, actually, today. Did you like the shot selection, and how did that change throughout the game? Well, I think when those balls rattled in and came out, I just think you'd see our heads go down. Like, oh, no, not again. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I mean, if you look at the stats in this building, maybe that ball, that Adidas ball is bad or something. I don't know. But you, you, nobody shot the ball in here, right? I mean, they haven't. They're, every game's been like this. It, 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 basically, this kind of game is what we see all, all the time. Yeah, well, it's always know. winning, winning ugly is yeah. uh, what, what we've been doing here. We don't. And, uh, and we guys like to just run down and score 80 points and you know, fly around the floor. And, and it definitely was their attempt. Now, it shouldn't have been because we had 20 at the, at the nine minute mark in the first half. That's on your way to 75, 80 points. But it, it, the switch flipped. And, Did you talk about the intensity? I mean, you guys the, you got the defensive effort, but it seemed like you guys were getting the 50 50 balls for most of the game. I thought both nature. teams played hard. I don't, I, don't, I don't think anybody can sit there and say the effort in this game was Christmas-like. I just think you could see that there was something was missing. Now, based on what you guys are saying, you're probably right. I mean, it probably was their type of game at home. Uh, and we survived and won it. You know, like I said, Purdue didn't win here. You know, we got to be in the top 100 RPI. I mean, you got to be really happy rolling. And any win, but especially rolling. So I'm not going to analyze it. I'm going to go home and eat for two days. <laughs> Have a good holiday. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys too.